The Chinese are coming to take a piece of American professional wrestlers in 2019. Specifically, Tencent, the $370 billion Chinese technology giant founded by Pony Ma, is going to tag team with worldwide wrestling entertainment to help bring wrestlers like The Undertaker and Triple H to see Chinese audience demonstrating moves like the Super Suplex and helping build a local league. I'm Pete Sweeney with Reuters Breaking Views, and I think this deal might actually happen. <laughs> for both sides, it makes a lot of sense. For WWE, for starters, it can't get more dominant in the States. It has absolute market control. For growth, it has to go overseas, and China's already a big market it's been trying to get at. For Tencent, they also get this connectivity to the White House. You may know that WWE was founded by Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon. Linda McMahon is now in the Trump cabinet. She's small business administration head. Um, she's reportedly one of the officials who's closest to Trump. Um, as for Vince, her husband, Trump and him go way back. During the 2007 Battle of the Billionaires, Trump beat down Vince McMahon on national television and shaved him bald. One of the main reasons this works well is because actually WWE's product is fairly popular in China for good reason. I mean, okay, granted it involves these huge, mostly white guys who are incredibly muscled wearing these really weird outfits. But if you look beyond like the, the skin, what you see is like a, a bunch of people are scheming, beating each other. It's really not that unfamiliar from a Qing Dynasty Kung Fu TV show. And I believe that's had a lot of resonance. So really all you need to do for the next stop is just translate it into Chinese, which means having Chinese wrestlers. WWE is already training these people. They already put out contracts to eight Chinese wrestlers. They signed a contract with four of them, I think. So that's underway. And on everybody's mind, you know, has got to be this. After a year of trade tensions, you might have or be able to have some sort of event where President Donald Trump President Xi Jinping cage match and the winner gets to settle something about tariffs or, or investment restrictions. I think that would be a much better outcome than the direction we're heading now. Um, but even thinking about it would be fun um, and it would certainly make for very good business.